Hello, this is Bunting, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some Easy Bake style bases using Ableton's vocoder. So, as you said, and as is in the title, the magic happens with this vocoder. And you see it has an external carrier, which means it's getting a signal from another sound. And that sound is this saw wave here. This is just your normal saw wave, right? I, I just use Vital because I had it. And it's just pitch bent down slowly. Just drew that in there. Whoops. And also added some multiband compression. That's optional. You know, try different, different processing on your saw, saw wave, your original signal probably get different results. Now before you start vocoding you definitely want to turn the original signal off that way you only hear your new awesome vocoded signal. So first you want an audio sample right preferably one that's very vowel-y and you can even record in your own thing because the E-I-O-U E-I-O gives you very different results um, in your vocoder. So right now it's on noise which just gives us noise but if we put it on external and select our audio from synth one, which is our saw wave. Already getting some freaking awesome results right there, right? And we can change this kind of sound by messing with pretty much everything you see here. Really nothing's off limits here. You can enhance it kind of like, almost like OTTs it in a way, for lack of a better word, brightens it. You can mess with the bands. Get, get you a lot of different results just from the bands alone. You mess with the range, kind of changes the brightness, and it gives it like a weird harmonic at lower points. BW, which changes how to process. This gives you weird like chords. You can change the mode. It gives you a slightly different kind of tone. Gate. Gate doesn't do a whole lot for you, it just kind of changes like the threshold for the sound that gets triggered. Levels just, you know, the output level. These two aren't as fun as the rest. But, so next we got depth. Which changes just how the vocoder processes the sound. Right, and then we got attack. Which changes how fast it kind of comes in. The peak capacity or whatever, right? Then we got release, which the higher your release is, so like the longer each kind of signal that enters the vocoder will stay. And this is quite important for what we're trying to achieve here, right? So when it's low, it's very changey, changes a lot, doesn't hold out. But when it's high, you get all those rich harmonics building up. The next thing is the formant, kind of changes the formant. Kind of change the pitch in a way. We can also make it mono, stereo, left and right, and change it dry wet. But where the magic happens, I would say, is definitely with the bands, with this range, with this BW, and with this release, formant, and depth. Also this, I guess. You know, I would say the attack, and these modes, and this stuff, and this stuff, and dry wet doesn't quite cut it. So... Now, once you get your awesome bass with the release up, then you could start volume automating. Auto pan, let's drag our amount up, phase down, put it on notes, turn it to 180. Already an awesome bass. Change the format. You can. Can OTT, you know, OTT and saturate your signal to beef it up some more. So yeah, that's about the basics of the vocoder. And in addition to vocating, you can alter the sound by messing with the sample itself and switching out a sample. Let's just find a random vocal sample here. Uh, sure, whatever. Gives you a bit of a different sound. 
you can sing it in yourself just go we wow e e i o like like so let, let me do it just for your entertainment e ow e e ow 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 e you see that was that was some live vocoder action you know which if you want the most custom sound i recommend that that's probably the most best thing to do so and then after just showing you these basics i'll just show you these bases in particular i mean i'll just show you the vocoder since that's what you want to copy right so just pause and copy it for the most part here's this one up here this fat one which i liked very much all right next one it's kind of squelchy one this one here also have some automation going on with this one and really be creative with it you can try different vocal samples you can maybe even mess with the original saw wave if you're feeling frisky you know but i don't know that's risky it's frisky and risky but yeah that about covers it for everything i put here right i know they have a lot more bases they use but for that kind of stuff i covered a lot of it in other videos so for that it would be like you know like saturators different kind of saturators you know some basic like wavetable bases some growl type things messing with filters and all that but for this video i just wanted to cover their kind of signature crazy alien talking vocoder bases you know and i found myself well i knew it was something with the vocoder but the missing piece for me see that's just so thin is just keeping that release up and then volume shaping it afterwards that gives you so much more of that meat which you very much need if you want an awesome alien bass all right so that about covers it hope you learned something hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button it looks like this if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos leave a comment down below i do read them a lot and if you want to see more like this and want to stay up to date with all these new tutorials subscribe that would help me out a lot that'd be awesome for you and also hit the bell so you get notified of any new videos this was bunting thanks for tuning in and peace out